Hey, it's Travis with Integrity Cleaning Systems coming to you with another monthly message. And what I want to talk to you about this month is the single best way that you can extend the life of your carpet, improve its appearance, take care of the indoor air quality in your home. And the best part of you for you is it's absolutely free. And it's actually pre-vacuuming your carpet. Now, I know that's not the funnest subject. I'm not going to win any awards for being the most entertaining in this video, but it's extremely important. And here's what's happened. I know this is going to be kind of a rudimentary example, but if you can imagine that my fingers are similar to your carpet fibers, and when soil gets into your carpet, it gets worked all the way to the base of the fiber. And every time you step across those fibers, the fibers are grinding down over that soil, and the soil in Arizona is just these little tiny grits with these little microscopic sharp edges, and it literally sands your fibers. And when it does that, they're going to lay different, it's going to distort the fiber, then even when the soil's removed, it's going to reflect light differently, casting shadows, and it's called apparent soiling, and it will look dirty even when it's clean. There's very little that can be done to fix that once it happens. The key is to keep it from happening. So what we're going to discuss today is really three key areas. How often you should vacuum, how you should vacuum, and what type of vacuum cleaner should, you should use. Now attached to this email is a form that was designed by the EPA. And that's actually going to go over the frequency of the vacuuming that they recommend. And it's going to be based on the size of your family and the foot traffic in your home. And I'll tell you, the vast, vast majority of homeowners do not vacuum nearly enough. So when you look at that chart, don't get mad at me. I'm just the messenger. But it's going to tell you you probably need to vacuum more often than you are. The second thing you really want to look at is the speed in which you vacuum. Because also, the vast majority of people vacuum way too quick. Because they think the only goal is to get the surface dirt off, the little papers and things on the surface fiber. And you can do that by running over it real quick. But to get that deeply embedded soil out, you have to go a little bit slower. And I want to give you a little demo of the two options. Most people, when they vacuum, it looks something like this. They're going about this pace, and they're moving along so they can get done and get on to their next chore. But you're not going to get that deeply embedded soil out by doing that. You have to be a little bit more intentional. You want to go forward, back about this pace, and you're going to cross over on a 50-50 overlap and come back. So each part of your carpet actually is going to get vacuumed about four times. And by doing it at this pace, you're actually going to be able to extract that deeply embedded soil out of the carpet. Now the last thing that you need to be aware of is the right type of vacuum cleaner. And if your vacuum's old enough to drive, you really need to consider upgrading. In all honesty, if it's old enough to go to school, you should probably consider getting a new system. And when looking at a new system, there's a couple key things you want to look at. I personally like uprights, and I like uprights that don't have attachments on them. Now I know attachments are kind of convenient, but one of the problems with attachments, and this goes for canister vacuums also, is they have that long tube that the airflow has to go through and that the motor has to run to extract the soil from the carpet. But when you have that long tube, you have to run a bigger motor, which uses more electricity, and it's also going to put more wear and tear on the motor, and it's going to break down more frequ frequently. Now, in something like this, the motor is so close to the actual extraction area, there's very little area it has to move through. So it can use a smaller motor, which is going to last you longer. This is a Recar. It's a great brand. It's built here in America. Um, I've been using this one for going on two years. You can tell it's kind of beat up, but I do a lot of vacuuming, and it's still running great for me. A couple other things you want to look at is the bag that's in the vacuum cleaner. Invest a little bit of extra money and get a HEPA filter bag. Otherwise, what you vacuum up is going to get put back in the air and settle back into your carpet. And really the next biggest thing you want to look at, I don't know if you'll see this on the video or not, but in the olden days on this agitation bar right here, they used to have this raised plastic area. It was called a beater bar. And the concept there was it was going to, just like in the olden days before there was wall-to-wall -wall carpet, and they would take the area rugs out and throw them over the fence and beat them with the broom, and you get these little dust plumes. Well, when they designed the beater bar, they thought if you got these dust plumes, it would, then it would suck up the, the dust and you would be able to vacuum the floor. What they didn't take into account is when you pull that area rug off the fence, all the dirt that got beat through the carpet and was left on the fence. And that's what they found in the beater bar system. It was actually it was getting some of it out, but it was beating much, much of it deeper into the fiber. So today they use agitation bars that vibrate a little bit and it kind of shakes the soil up to the surface so that you can pull it out of the carpet. So if you have a raised plastic area on your agitation bar, that's a very old school technique and it's not the most current idea as far as buying a good vacuum cleaner. 
So those are some of the key points. Just remember, vacuum enough, vacuum at the right speed, have a good vacuum, and you're going to save yourself money, extend the life of your carpet, and you'll actually need to use my services a little bit less. Talk to you next month.